Morning everyone, in this video we're going to be making this side look like this side. So let's get on with it. Right then, so this panel needs a hell of a lot more work. Got a nice hole all the way through there. Bit of a crack there, what we've got to sort out. Then we've got to move on to this panel. Some rubbing down to do there. And a few cracks in the lacquer there to sort out. Then we've got the Donald Duck panel, which is looking pretty good up to the minute, but got to get some undercoat on this. Uh, there was that like spider cracking on this side, so I've put uh, drilled loads of holes in it. If you can see from that side where I've drilled all the holes and gone over it with the fiberglass. And I've just gone a thin skin with the fillet. So I've got to rub that down. Then that's ready for undercoat. And I think this one's about ready for another undercoat. Just to see what's what. So let's get this off and uh, start undercoating.
this is what this side looks like. Uh, I've only got it on loosely, so it doesn't look in, doesn't look lined up, but it does all line up nicely. Quite happy with this one. There's a bit of a little dent there what I want to sort out. Uh, this has a, got a couple of lumpy bits just there. So hopefully they'll disappear on a little rub down. And this one is pretty bad at the minute. That needs a good, really good rub down. You can see uh, sandpaper lines in it. Don't know if you can see them. This bit's not too bad. But the paint job I'm going to give it will disguise most of these things anyway. Has that got a scratch on it like that already? Uh, what I want to do is this purple line. I want to take it into this, so we'll mask it all up. But I'll probably change the colour, it won't be purple. Just so it follows that through. Uh, I'm going to rub it all down like that. I'm going to rub this down, that's going to be all black. But what I'm going to do is I don't know if to use white paint or silver paint, but I'm going to get a plastic bag and just dab silver paint or white paint all over it. And then I'm going to get some candy lacquer, so you can get them in different shades. Then I'm going to be spraying that on the top, but I'm not sure which shade I'm going to pick yet. I think you can get a goldy coloured to make it look goldy coloured. I'm going to leave this under on as well so that will show through. But uh, just depends what shade I'm going to pick. So that's where we're up to at the moment. Right then, so that's one side done in the black. Let's do the other side in the black. I think they're ready. I think they're ready for the final coat. We've got this one over here. Just wants a bit more primer on it. And then we can go black. So let's do it. Okay, so that's, uh, I'm happy with them. Uh, just go over to the Donald Duck. Looking too bad. Uh, what we've got to do next? I don't know if it's dark in here, but uh, this cream colour is going to be gone over with the black as well. And this purple colour is going to be done in white to match that. So, let's get all these bits back on there see what it looks like. Yeah, I've still got to do this as well. Anyway, we'll be back in a bit. Okay then, so now we've got this side all in black. <clears throat> so we've still got cream this side. So this is before, and if you come round this side, that is after. Just put a bit of black on it to uh, make it all match. Just to get rid of all these crappy pink colours. Uh, just don't follow that on with white. But what I'm thinking is, I'll 
probably get some gold to go with that. Just add that striping gold all the way around. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'll do that in gold like that around there and that down there and that will stay gold. And then I'll mask that up and I'll mask that up with tape. And then I'll get some, uh, probably use white, get an old screw up shopping bag, spray white paint on it and dab it all over. And then put some uh, candy lacquer on the top. And I think candy lacquer you can get uh, different shades. Like if you uh, get a red shade, it turn into red. If you get a green shade, it will turn into green. If you get a blue shade, it will turn into blue, and so on. And that's what I'm going to do. So that's about as far as we're going with this one. Uh, starting to get there what I want it to look like uh, I know it's not to everybody's taste but you know it's my bike I'm doing it so now I think I'm going to put these panels safe <clears throat> until I'm ready to paint them because they still need a hell of a good rub down and repainting again still got these bits of frame parts to cut off might just cut it off down there, cut the footrest off and leave that angle on in case I can get the uh, leave the main stand on because that's you know helps you to lift it onto the main stand. That's what it looks like at the front. See, there's still some rub down lines in it, so it still wants a hell of a good rub down. But yes, I'm very happy with it. It's perfectly splendid. Uh, still got the screen to put onto there. Uh, Going to spray the inside of it black to hide all that, and then leave this bit clear, obviously. So yes, that'll do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like how the bike's looking. Please like, share, comment. Yeah, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, yeah, obviously a thumbs down. But uh, you know, anyway, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.